family welcome back to my channel my name is Kanisha if you're new this channel is called Lux Living for Less and on this channel we find tips and tricks on how to still live a fabulous lifestyle on a for less budget today is Wednesday March 6 we are starting off this vlog sitting in the line at Nissan it is time to get my car service it is 7 7 a.m. my appointment is at 7 20 so I'm here on time I like to come here early because if I come here early and wait for it then they're usually done with my car in about an hour hour and a half today i'm just getting um a routine maintenance which is an oil change um all point inspection tire rotation and balance so nothing too crazy today so i should be able to get out of here spending about 80 85 dollars or so i do have my duncan hash browns and my latte so i'm just waiting on them to come they're a little slow this morning they're a little slow this morning which is um kind of unusual for them but you know we on time so we just gonna be patient and wait now how did he get up there and how was he gonna get his ass down oh damn i ain't no squirrels been fit in spaces like that oh my god So I was like, I got a car in my bay, looking for any leaks coming from the engine or any reservoirs leaking, and I didn't see any at all. Also went ahead and topped off the washer fluid there. And based off the mileage and recent history, you gotta do for a few maintenance flushes. Transmission flushes every 60,000 miles. Power steering fluid is every 25. And brake fluid flushes every 20,000 miles. And that's to flush out all the sediment built into the system from the deteriorated fluids. You also do for a fuel injection, induction, throttle body service. That's gonna be cleaning out the injectors underneath and the throttle body itself of carbon buildup. It's going to be overall maintenance for the motor as well as improved gas mileage a tad bit as well. And you're also due for an engine and cabin air filter. This is uh, this one's pretty dirty as you can see all the dirt buildup and all the chunks of debris and stuff that are in there. You don't want all that stuff getting into the engine. You know, all your suspension components, you don't have any leaks coming from the uh, suspension components themselves. Rear suspension looks good. You don't have any leaks or any broken struts. Went ahead and measured out your tire tread life all around. You have seven thirty seconds in the front two tires and then nine thirty seconds in the rear tires. These are all in the green. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate these better tread tires to the front. Since this is a front wheel drive car, you want the better tread in the front for handling and the braking. And while I'm switching that, I'm gonna go ahead and balance these tires in the process. Um, other than that, if you have any other questions or concerns, please contact the service advisor. Thank you for shopping on Nissan and Orange Park. Now, so here's the look I'm going to be wearing to the sneaker ball. This top, you all have seen this top a bunch of times. This is a thrifted top. I've had it for a while. This handbag, this is also thrifted. I actually purchased this bag to go along with one of the looks that I styled for my TV appearance and I ended up not using it. This skirt, I purchased the skirt from Amazon. It was only $19. And then I'm going to wear this faux leather um, OB belt that I also got from Amazon quite a while ago and then you all remember the Jordan sneakers that I shared with you in um, my retail purchases video now as you can probably tell the skirt isn't that full so what I'm gonna do is I bought some tool fabric from Walmart and you can see it has just the slightest bit of sparkle in it I'm gonna go under um, the skirt maybe every other layer and add this just to give it some fluff and then I also got this from Walmart as well. I'm going to add this black tool, which is the same as this right here, to give it some fluff because I want the skirt to be kind of full. But yeah, this is going to be my look for the sneaker ball. The Jordans kind of ever so slightly break up that goth look. But once I put it all together, I think it's really going to come together nicely. The sneaker ball is next Friday, the 15th. So, um... Yeah, and it's only the sneaker ball is only three and a half hours, so it's not like I'm gonna be there all night, which is great because I do have an event at nine o'clock the next morning, all the way in the next county. So there's that. But this is my look. Just wanted to share it with you all because I have been talking about it forever. So let me know what you think.
Today is Saturday, March 9th. It is 9.33 a.m. I'm sitting in the line at Starbucks. I'm actually headed to um, the hair salon. I have a hair appointment today. Y'all, I need a haircut so badly. That's what I'm getting today. I'm gonna keep the length in the front of my hair, but the back and the sides, they have to be trimmed. I'm sure y'all have seen in previous videos how much my hair has grown out. And I think I told you all um, way back that I was getting my hair, or that I was growing my hair out. Well, my hair has started to grow a lot faster than I anticipated, so um, it's, it's time to, you know, get it shaped up and how they say, to the salon. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! So that's what I'm doing when I leave Starbucks, but I have to get me something to eat first. After I leave the hair salon, I'm going to go buy this Greek paraphernalia store. Hopefully they'll still be open and um, pick up some items for some people. And then after that, I don't know, I told you all in my last video that it was um, supposed to be date night for me and the hubs, which it still is supposed to be date night. But he wants to take that Ikea Billy bookcase back today. So um, I, I'm kind of in agreement with that because I would rather have two of the same and not one and then one of the new versions. So uh, we're gonna be doing that today. And we'll see what else we get into. Good morning, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Good morning, may I get the um, honey citrus lemon tea, I think is what it's called. Yeah, what size? Um, can I get the short? So y'all, let me just tell y'all what happened. So um, the young lady that was at the window at Starbucks, I ordered the turkey bacon, egg white cheddar sandwich and I had to wait on my tea because it, she said it wasn't ready yet, you know, which was okay. But right before they were done making my tea and they were walking over, handing it to her, I can see them walking up with it. She did like this in her hand. <laughs> she coughed into her hand and then the same hand that she coughed with, she touched my cup and started to hand it to me. And I said, can I please get another one? And she was like, I'm sorry, I was like, you may not have realized it, but you just coughed into your hand and the same hand that you coughed into your hand with, you used that to grab my cup. And she said, she thought about it and she said, oh my God, I didn't even realize it. You know, so, and sometimes people don't realize things and that's why you have to bring it to your attention, especially this day with so many um, little bugs going around. So, you know, I was very nice and diplomatic about it, but at the same time, you know, learn to speak up for yourself and don't just accept things. She didn't realize that she did it. It was a very unconscious move, but at the same time, I saw it and I wanted to make her aware, you know, hey, that kind of wasn't okay. So they're remaking my tea and they're in the process of bringing it out to me. Y'all, my hair is done. Oh my God, y'all. I feel like somebody now y'all saw how much my hair had grown out she even said she said your hair grows so fast child it was driving me nuts because it was hanging over the ear and anyway so now I have it done I look like somebody it is 12 13 y'all my appointment was at 10 I was running a little late so I got here about 10 15 it's 12 13 and I am out of the salon I this is one of the reasons why I, I probably won't ever stop coming to her because she quick and fast and she does a good job. Now I'm headed to my next destination, y'all. I am looking like a bum. Y'all see my shirt, mama, mommy, mom, bro. I got this from Bucky's, but I'm headed to my next destination, so let's go. Be on this team, I like my D. Ooh, in front. 
front of my S, yep, my S in front of my T, my D, E, L, T, A, S, I, G, M, A, T, H, E, T, A, pick it, B, up and step, you better duck. Gabriel Plum, Gabriel Plum, vlog if I didn't include a little bit of thrifting right so I stopped at the thrift store the first thing I saw was this half moon purse didn't really like it so I left it behind I also saw these white um gladiator cage style heels y'all remember in my last vlog I showed you um some gladiator style heels as well I saw these but weren't really my style so I left them I saw these beige shoes y'all remember in my last video there were a pair of wine color shoes just like this so i guess maybe the same person that donated do those donated these as well these boots were really cute y'all i did like those i actually carried these around in my cart for a while but ultimately ended up not getting them i saw these shoes i wish these were my size because that pink was so pretty they weren't my size so of course i ended up having to leave them behind for somebody else to get these Carl Legofeld loafers were really nice. I didn't get them because they weren't my size and they really kind of weren't my style. And plus, I don't need another pair of loafers. I know I just got those Crocs, so left these behind. Now, these I really, really did like. I like the red pop of color on the toe box and then the leather or the leopard, not leather child, not leather, leopard. The leopard um, pattern on the shoes, really cute. Not my size, so I left them. These shoes were really cute as well. You know, be really nice for... An Easter something. Here comes the Easter bunny. Da -da 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 -da. Didn't get those either. Left those as well. Girl, tell me this don't give Renaissance. Tell me this don't give Renaissance. I bet somebody bought this for the Renaissance concert and ended up donating it after they didn't want it anymore. Thrift stores is always full of blazers, child. I mean, you can see the, the line goes all the way down. I don't need another blazer. I just like the look. Now, this one was really cute, this Zara blazer. It always tickles me when I see Zara in the thrift store because I know how expensive that stuff is retail in Zara. Now, this one, I actually did contemplate getting this one, but ultimately I left it because it, the fit on it just wasn't right, so I just didn't get it. This cream blazer, I have been looking for a cream blazer. I did end up picking this one up. I'll show it to you all in the later haul. Now this one, I don't know what was going on with this right here. Like I, I could not figure it out. And my curiosity was kind of getting the best of me, which is why I kept fumbling with it. But I couldn't figure it out. I didn't know what was going on. Y'all, this right here, this was a very, very, very nice coat. The black part is genuine leather. And the um, brown part is, or cognac part, is actually tan. It was really nice. This was cute. It was a silk um, cardigan, silk and sequin cardigan. You know, it'll be cute for somebody if you dress it up right. I saw this decanter. I really did like it until I turned it around and saw the um, etching on the front of it. So it's kind of giving me I dream, dream of genie vibes. Then I saw this ice bucket. I don't know if that's really what it was, child. That's what I'm calling it. I didn't end up getting it, but I thought it was cute, $9.99. And by the way, y'all, if I didn't mention, everything was on sale except red. Now, this ice bucket has been here forever. Forever. $9.99, but it was 75% off. I contemplated on getting this dress because I can use more red with my sorority duties coming up that I have. But I didn't get it, y'all. It just would have been too hot. This was a not very nice leather piece. I didn't get it because I don't need another leather piece. And I do mean not another piece. This white dress, y'all, this was really, really cute. I really love the detail on it, the lace eyelet detail. I did end up picking that up. And this face right here was really cute. Y'all can tell I have a thing for vases, but I really don't need another vase, y'all. Quite honestly, I think my husband been throwing away some of my vases, but you know, it is what it is. I tell y'all all the time, don't sleep on a thrift store when it comes to your pajamas. Victoria's Secrets, there it is. I did pick it up. Y'all see how big this store is? <laughs> Brothers and sisters to pick up some um, paraphernalia 
left there, went to the thrift store to source something for somebody. Even if I'm looking for something for somebody else, I'm always going to look for myself too, because why not? Now I'm headed to Hibbit Sports. Um, Hibbit Sports sent an email today about a new release. Yeah, I told her I don't keep up with releases. So had they not sent the email, I would not have known. But they have a new pair of Jordans that came out today. And coincidentally, they're also gold and white. Y'all know I picked up those gold and white Jordan 1s. Um, probably about three weeks ago now. Well, I like these gold and white ones better. So if the ones, if they have the ones that came out today in my size, I'm just going to return the ones um, that I purchased a few weeks ago and get these. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Y'all see how disrespectful this wind is? You see how disrespectful this wind is? Oh my goodness. I got my shoes. I can finally head home. All of my errands for the day are done. Thank you, Jesus. So let's go home. Y'all, you hear that rain? No day night tonight. It is stormy. Like, winds are probably blowing about 40 miles an hour. Can y'all hear that? Listen. No day night tonight. Today is Sunday, March 10th. It is 9.17 a.m. Really 8.17 a.m. Y'all okay since time sprung forward? Um, it didn't really bother me too much. Yeah, I'm sure it'll hit me when it's time to go to bed since we're an hour ahead technically. I'm headed right now, y'all, to... Um, okay, so I, had, I ordered something. And it was just something small. And it was delivered by UPS. Well, the company that I ordered it from, and this is probably my mistake. I mean, who else's mistake is it really? <laughs> the company that I ordered from, I noticed when I ordered it, they had on file my old address from 20 years ago. And I could have swore that I changed it to my new address, but apparently, I don't know if maybe it reverted back to my old address when I checked out and when they processed the payment. I don't know what happened, but anyway, it went to um, the address that I lived in 20 years ago. So I'm going there to see if um, UPS said it was delivered. So I'm going to, you know, nicely ask for my item. Hey, can I have my item? Um, it was only $20, so... If I get it, great. If I don't, I'll just have to reorder it because, yeah. Anyway, then I'm going to get a donut because they have a new flavor this um, month. They're doing bi-weekly menus now instead of monthly menus, which I kind of like that because I don't have to. What if they have something on the menu that I don't like? I have to wait a whole other month for y'all to change it. So they have a Irish cream creme brulee y'all know creme brulee is my favorite dessert in the whole wide world so um i'm gonna go and get one of those and get me a latte and then i'm thinking about going to see the tina turner musical today's the last day um that is here in jacksonville hubs has to work he went to work about 30 minutes ago yeah that's a hard working man i tell you but sometimes and i'm not you know being ungrateful that he has a job but that is a very demanding job. And um, they take a lot out of them, I will say. But, you know, I'm understanding. It, it gets on my nerves sometimes, it does. But, you know, I'm grateful that he has um, a good job because it is a good job. But, yeah, so I'm going to be going to the Teen Turner Musical. I'm probably going to be going by myself because he has to work. And he doesn't get off until later this evening. They have a 1.30 show and a 7.30 show. He'll probably be getting off right around 6.37. So, yeah. Um, and then after that, I don't have anything else to do. You know, it's Sunday. 
how the girls say they reset. Child, I don't reset on a Sunday. I just do what I do on a Sunday. All right, Luxor Less family, I just left my old address. My trip was unsuccessful. I don't know if maybe they're not at home or if they're still in bed. It's 10, 15, so it's not super early. I mean, it's a time I would think that people would be up, but that's just me. I'm an early riser anyway. So I left them a note with my phone number asking them to text me to see if I could come and get it because I know it was delivered there yesterday. but. If they don't, like I said earlier, I'm just going to reorder it. I'm headed home now to, you know, just start getting ready for the Tina Turner show. It starts at 1.30. I haven't purchased my ticket yet. I was online looking last night. And um, I didn't purchase it because, you know, sometimes a day of, if shows aren't sold out, which this one wasn't sold out, they tend to um, reduce the price of the ticket. So... That's why I didn't purchase my ticket last night, but they still have plenty of good seats available. Hopefully everybody else is not thinking like me. All right, look for less family. It is hours later. I am headed now to the Tina Turner show. If you're in Jacksonville, it's gonna be at the Moran Theater. The show starts at 1.30, so in about an hour, maybe actually about 50, 55 minutes or so. But I'm headed there now. Um, my whole outfit is thrifted. This is a bodysuit, y'all. This bodysuit, I thrifted it from Plato's Closet. I'm wearing those same blue Ralph Lauren pants that I wore to the um, funeral service a couple weeks ago. And then I'm wearing these Gianni Beanie heels. I've had these for years, y'all. I got these from the Dillard's um, New Year's Day sale. These earrings I thrifted from the real real. These are Kenneth Lane um, earrings. And then I'm wearing my trusted Michael Kors watch. Just some jewelry. I got this butterfly ring from Macy's. I got this Just On Clue Cartier Dupe ring from Amazon. And then this is my Tiffany bangle that my husband got me for was it my birthday? Mother's Day? I think it was my birthday last year. And then I have my um, purse that I thrifted from the thrift store. Y'all remember this? I'm wearing this one. So that's my outfit for the day. Let's go to the show. <laughs> You must understand the touch of your hand makes my pulse react That it's only the thrill of boy meeting girl opposites attract It's physical, only logical You must try to ignore that it means more than I was able to get my ticket a little bit less expensive than what I was going to pay for it last night. And I told you all sometimes, you know, if the show, especially if it's on its last day, if it's not um, sold out or whatever, then they will sometimes, not always, but sometimes reduce the tickets. There were, by the time the show started, there were a few seats left. It wasn't completely sold out, but I would say it was probably at 90%. So that was a success to me. The show was really good. If it's coming to your city, I would recommend going to see it. Now, um, my husband texts me. He's off work, and he wants me to meet him at 
this restaurant called The Brick. It's in Riverside. So I'm headed to meet him there now. All right, y'all, change of plans. Hubs want to come to River and Post. I'm kind of glad anyway, because they have way better parking. If you're in Jacksonville, then you know the parking situation that the brick offers, little to non-existent. The River and, Post, River and Post has much more substantial parking, so makes for a better experience, especially when you're trying to walk back to your car. My hubs is already here, so I'm gonna go in and meet him. <laughs> So update on the package. The person just called me. Um, they got my note in the door about the package. And he just called me and told me, he's like, hey, I have your package. He said, my wife started to open it. She thought it was something for her. Probably had it flipped on the other side and didn't notice the name. I've done that before too. But he just called me and he said, um, I just wanted to let you know that I have it. And, you know, if you would like to come and pick it up, that would be great. Y'all, it's still kind of people in the world because that package was from my sorority and the contents of that package, I did not want to be in the hands of somebody else. So thank you, God. <laughs> um, but I just had to come back on and update that. I could not officially close the vlog out before I told you the update. So got the package. I'm going to pick it up on Saturday. Thank you, God. Bye, y'all. <laughs>